<sighs> There's a war a brewing. A war. What side are you on? What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound of Attack once again, and today we're going to be talking about why I am no longer going to be holding Ethereum and what projects I will be taking a look at and investing into as far as from a cryptocurrency perspective, what I'm swapping into, and as well as primarily the focus of this video is going to be EIP-1559, the issues that I see it is presenting and why I think it is going to hurt Ethereum as a whole uh, overall okay so we're talking about ethereum just being able to maintain price being able to grow along with bitcoin and so on but before we get into it i noticed that some people are still having a lot of questions about rocket chat once again you got to click the join button it's the 199 option and then from the home page of the youtube channel you need to click the membership tab and then under the membership tab, there will be a connect with me on social media option. And that will have the URL in it that you can register with on the Rocket Chat. And then from there, you can always navigate to rocketchat.sonofatech.com. I know it's working because we have over 388 people joined and we have less than 300 people that are members on YouTube, meaning that some of you all are smart enough to have figured out without even needing to sign up. So kudos, and I'm actually fine with that because if you put in that much work, you're still not a bot. Hey, <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's get into it. EIP 1559 is happening. We did a fireside chat, round table, whatever you want to call it, with Bitsby Trippin, not your normal miner, Red Panda Mining, uh, Serpent, I Mine Blocks, if I'm missing somebody, I apologize. We're going to stop there to keep the video short. But huge shout out to everybody that was on the call. Lots of good points, lots of good questions, lots of good questions in chat from y'all. And there were a couple answers that I got that are influencing me to no longer hold ETH. And the primary one was this. My question pertaining to stop EIP 1559 and the amount of official announcement by mining pools that have said they do not support it, which means obviously they are probably going to keep mining an old chain or something along those lines. I don't know what the actions are going to be yet, but I said, what if those pools don't change their perspective? How is that going to affect the passing of EIP 1559 into the Ethereum code? And the answer was essentially, at that point, they are just going to accelerate the move towards ETH 2.0. Now, before you guys think I'm against ETH 2.0, I am not. I was actually planning on staking with ETH 2.0, and I was going to move on and mine some other things. But because Ethereum is one of the initial application coins, it has the most relevant projects built on top of it. I had some faith in Ethereum. What I don't have faith in is a crunch time for developers based around a political issue and what that tells me i've worked in it for a long time and i've seen what happens with game companies cyberpunk 2077 for example when you start making decisions in that manner and you start forcing the people working for you to go into a crunch time that only spells bad news cyberpunk 2077 great recent example stock dive price dive in, of course, CD Projekt Red. So if I'm looking at this from an investor standpoint, and that's your answer, and that is what's gonna happen, as opposed to, I don't know, working with the people that have supplied the service for you for ages, um, yeah, I just, I don't have any faith in that. So I'm not going to hold any Ethereum anymore. And I think that uh, me personally, I, I, I have a lot less faith in the ETH 2.0 transition at this point. Do I think it spells complete doom and gloom for Ethereum? No. I think that Ethereum obviously has, like I said, the best projects on it. And it will more than likely succeed. But I do think it will falter for a little bit based on this. Another thing that you guys need to be taking a look at is essentially what's been going on with the price in relation to Bitcoin. Compared to 2016 to 2018 boom, the rise in price of 
Bitcoin compared to the rise of price in ETH has not scaled at the same level. ETH is falling further and further behind. It's struggling at resistances. Now I'm not a trader, but what I am is somebody that, that looks at these from a technical perspective and what is possible, what could happen, and so on and so forth. Once again, not a financial advisor. If you want to hold ETH too, I'd like to know why you're going to hold it and what you believe in down in the comment section below. I'm curious. This is just a personal decision. And if you are going to say, well, all miners want to do is mine and sell their ETH, then I'm going to mine and sell my ETH. I'm going to buy other projects. You guys are curious about those projects. I am going into Bitcoin, obviously, Litecoin and DOT. That's what I will be moving into for the foreseeable future. And once again, not financial advice. That's just what I'm going to move into as far as longer term holdings. Obviously, Bitcoin is safe. Litecoin, I've just noticed a lot more people using Litecoin for transactions. Usually if I have like a sponsorship offer or something along those lines, I've noticed most of them prefer using Litecoin. So if that's the preferred method of payment on crypto right now, it just makes sense that I would hold some Litecoin, which I had not held before. But like I said, I'm always looking at what's getting used more. So that seems to be the case. Now, Ethereum is getting used more, but like I said, for the reasons I'm getting uh, off of that. Now, DOT is starting to get used more and more because of the easy use of their wiki. So that is why we're moving to, of course, DOT for my altcoin moonshot. Now, let's take a look at the responses. I had done a Google search for EIP 1559. Other than bits be tripping, most of the and and the miners, which you have not your normal miner and DCA adventure, another shout out. He was on the channel. Oh, Seth Estrada, by the way, was on the round table as well. Here it was. It was super awesome. Thanks to all y'all. But other than them, all you're really getting is stuff like I support EIP 1559. And here miners will accept it. Here is why which I have this article pulled up for you guys. Uh, and we will link this down for you guys to check it out down below. I don't think anybody that is supporting it or that is saying miners will support it has talked to a miner. Um, and the reason I say that is because if you just go to stop EIP 1559, look at this, opposing pools, flex pool, spark pool, announcements listed here. Ethermine, Nanopool, Hivon, Two Miners, Easel, ET Hash, Wooly Pool, Crux Pool, and Crazy Pool. And currently, you need to take into account this, which is very important. Spark Pool and Ethermine control over 50% of the hash rate right now on the network. Just those two pools. And you add in everybody else? Come on, that just spells some issues. I don't care what you're uh, like. Even if you're for EIP 1559, you have to take this into account and say, well, this spells out some issues, potential issues for actually going through with it. The only confirmed supporting pool is F2 pool. The remaining are unannounced, no announcements listed next to them. So articles like this, propaganda articles like this and like this, uh-uh, they're propaganda, that's it. So, here's what I'm gonna say. Obviously, Bits is gonna be later in this week representing miners for a call about it and, and kind of another fireside chat that he's gonna be doing with more developers and as far as like the, the deeper community of Ethereum there. I, I'm not certain that, that anything positive is gonna come out of that from the sounds of it. Like I said, what concerns me is we're just gonna escalate the timeline for ETH 2.0, which puts you into a crunch mode and is worrisome from uh, the perspective of an Ethereum investor, okay? Anytime that is going to be the response, it's like, mm. now, does ETH need to solve it? Yes, we're gonna talk about other options for solving it in another video. We kind of covered it a little bit with the layer two how-to video yesterday. And then tomorrow we will be doing a new how-to for simple mining os and i will get on that as soon as i can because that's going to be a lot of work but i wanted to get a quick talking head video out for you guys really explain 
why I am no longer going to be holding Ethereum. If you're saying all I do is mine and cash it out, then I will mine and cash it out. That's fine. I'm going to stay in crypto. All of it will be held in different cryptocurrency assets. I'm not going to just cash it to fiat because I have about as much trust in fiat as, well, dirt. Nah, dirt's worth more. I think dirt's worth a lot more, actually. <laughs> I'll see you next Tuesday.